Source 1 is still great. Like, Half-Life 2 is still legitimately one of the best looking video games ever. Like, Half-Life 2 is just good. Um, like, I can legit run Half-Life 2 on this computer, and it just mwah, it looks beautiful. And I, I was never sure why they came up with Source 2 besides uh, uh, problems with uh, so, advancements in the order sent me oh, to the this one. On the this one's hard. It's a dangerous region, but I laugh at danger and at kittens. They're just so cute. Door here and here, and they go into rifts here. Okay. Set it in, forget Let's clog it. that hole there. And then, oh, that's so much money. But it does stop them from getting into that rift completely. Well, not completely, but. Oh, and they have shields now. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. The schism. This one's pretty hard. I remember five schools like this one. It's actually also in the sequel, I think. I remember five scrolling it there, too. Oh, boy. Oh, oh. Yeah. As a kid, I never liked playing with barricades because they would go away, you know? And I also was not smart enough to actually use them in such a way where they wouldn't. But, you know, it is possible to use a barricade in such a way where it lasts the whole level. Okay, so now they're coming around this middle one. But we can improve this. Yeah, Maybe my expenditures could have been better. It just it's such a wide area to try and make sure to like that I'm not gonna lose one. Like there's so much territory here, you know? Oh boy. One? Wait, yeah, that works. That does work. A little present for you. And that means that now they come out and they have to go around. There we go. Well, it's doing that last one. We gotta make that back up. Well, I guess we just need to not you know, lose the rest of it. See, as a kid, I, I hated barricades because they would eventually go away and I would lose them. 
and they were also just like so expensive because like in sanctum the block in sanctum the cost of towers is relatively similar to the cost of traps too. but another thing about sanctum is that like you actually have like towers which is to say they are like weapons they shoot at them. these are more traps you know like they just slow the enemy down a little bit make it so they can't walk as fast Like, in Sanctum, everything is like a turret gun, you know? Sometimes I almost feel bad for the orcs. All right, now... We have a kill zone. Yeah, I'm pretty sure when you play this classic map in, um, OMD 2, you can actually, uh... Play it in co-op. Which, of course, makes it a lot easier. You know, anything with two rips or two hallways is, of course, improved greatly by having a friend to uh, kill all shit. There's a lot of things that are improved by having a friend. Even the worst games of all time are fixed by having co-op, you know? Yeah, two souls sucks. Developer's weird and French and racist. It's like... Beyond Two Souls blows. It's written poorly, it's stupid, it's annoying. It's insipid. It's attempt to have a um, narrative told out of order just makes the game more confusing, as though the director didn't understand Memento and thought he could just replicate it. But the thing is, is that that game is co-op, which means that at the end of the day, you're going to be playing it with a friend. Or you could be playing it with a friend. And that makes it way more fun. I'm all yours. You won't be sorry. Because at the end of the day, someone will be suffering with you. And suffering together is always better. You know? I think it's like proven to improve your friendship if you go through a, a hardship with somebody. Good times. Good times. Nice. Not that you should go out of your way to have a hardship with somebody to be better friends with them. That's my theory about Scooby Doo, actually. That's why Fred keeps taking them to such horrible places. Also, it was initially my theory about BuzzFeed Unsolved, but I don't think either of those men are interested in being friends with each other. You know? Their, rival their, their rivalry is great, and their vengeance will be swift. Let's get a better killing zone here. And slow them down further. In this hurt out. So luckily, because of the way that I've set up the stuff on the other side, a lot of the orcs actually go there first, and then later they um, a lot of the orcs actually go there first, and then uh, uh, they're like, "Oh, we got to turn around." And they do. Right, I've got a crossbow. Okay. I'll take what I can. Let's grab that and then let's maybe put down two more tars. Put them there. Catch guys on their way in. In case my um, webcam is frozen right now. 
uh, let it be known that currently I only have a single monitor set up. I'm not like super financially awesome. That's fine. The most important thing is that I'm passionate about my craft and I'm interested in what I do, you know? Passion to dictate all. But if I had things like a better volume mixer, then my audio would be better, of course. And then... Start killing them sooner, do more damage. And we can actually extend their, their, their track. Yeah, I actually like that more than having those. So now they have to go all the way here. And we can actually get them to go all the way through here, which means that we could put uh, a, a wall shooter here, here, and here. But I don't think it'll come to that. Yeah, one thing about the kobolds is that because they're so fast, they can actually trigger a trap and then run past it. And they... They trigger the trap and then they move so quickly that they're not on the trap when it actually fires. Now this can sometimes be bad for the people behind them, of course. Oh, look at that big toss. Oh, that feels good. Yeah, that can of course be bad for the people behind them. I gotta try to make sure that they don't. I don't. When I throw them, they don't get caught and tossed into the other. Um, into the other rift. If that happens too much, that'll be a problem. Kind of salty that, like, I was like, I love this level, and then, like, I ended up, like, blowing that level super hard, and I beat it with, like, four in the chamber. Alright. 